A few days ago, I received this comment. Please use live server. It's panic for us to wait the changes until you refresh. And that's a good point. I realized that I kept hitting refresh on the HTML CSS. So if I want to make a change to this document, I have the get bootstrap default template. I'd come down here, make a change, have to come up here and refresh the page. That's a lot of work. And I also realized that old habits die hard. And so I said, you know what? What if there's a way to add a live server within VS Studio Code because VS Studio Code is already freaking amazing. So I'm gonna head out over to Safari, which is using my default de facto browser. I'm gonna type in live server and VS Code because chances are pretty good I'm gonna find it there. And lo and behold, at the very top, there is a live server for Visual Studio Marketplace, an extension to build into it. I'm going to click on install for this live server and I'm going to say install. And just like that, it's going to pop up VS Studio Code. Click on install and in a second, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, I guess it's already installed. <laughs> that was quick. Awesome. So now what I can do with this file is I can run this as a virtual server. Now heads up, you can't run an individual file, but you have to put the file inside of a folder and run that as a server. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to my finder and I'm gonna create a new folder called test project. In there, I'm gonna drag this index file. And yes, it's gonna yell at me and saying it can't find the file, that's totally fine. I'm gonna close this file. And what I'll do is I'm gonna come up to the menu and say file open folder. There's no extension for this on the Mac at least, so I have to go up to File, Open Folder. There I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come over to the desktop, and I call this one Test Project. When I open the Test Project folder up, I'm gonna say Open. And now what I can do is, in this index file, instead of this default users Hayden Adams desktop index, what I can now do is I can control click and open with live server. What that's gonna do is, <clears throat> hello Safari, welcome to that world. I'm gonna copy that 127.0.1 colon 5500, and now what I get is a live server with HTML, CSS, and just to show it's gonna work, what I can do is, I can take off those three expression points, hit save, and now live on my screen with just HTML and CSS, I have this project working. We got the test project started, but if I wanna stop it, what I can do is I can come over and view my command palette. I just happen to have these recently used settings. You can type in live server, and you can either open with live server, which we've already done, but I can then stop with live server to actually stop the server. And now what happens if I refresh the page, the site can't be reached, but of course, if I come back up and head over, I'm in Chrome, no wonder it didn't show up. And if I head over to my command palette, I can then say open with live server. And yes, Safari did pop up, that is my default browser, but if I come back into Chrome, and yes, this is full circle, I do have to refresh the page one time but now it kicks it back into gear. And if I type hello world, this is on a live server. Just like that, magic happens.